Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. The teams then, Germany against Sweden. Well, I'm Peter Drury, and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Begley. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere, and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. Germany shape up in a 4-5-1. Yeah, essentially this system lends itself to a more cautious approach, but that's not to say they can't turn caution into steady ambition. Underway. Dick Swan in. And that's going to be a goal kick. Berg. Lost. And it's Toivonen. Lost. Now the pass. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Tony Cross. He's left his bag. All the balls come loose. Muller with up for the header. And he's made certain that won't get through. Royce. And he's on a charge. He's got away. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Come off, but an audacious effort. Oh, that's fantastic improvisation he showed there. Adjusted himself very quickly, but it's rare that they come off. Germany are doing all the attacking, and they've played some good football to boot. It's a brilliant interception. Muller. So what now? Chance to break. In the mark. No goals as yet. Goes wide, and it's Olsen. Olsen passes it through. Gets up to head it! Just off target. Berg did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Mesut Ozil. Berg. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Good run through the middle, but he needs support. He 
a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Olsen tries lifting it over. Toivonen to get on the end of this. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Oh, full-blooded challenge, and it had to be. Hector. Royce is looking up for options on the left. Driving on, a real charge here. Lustig demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Spreads it wide. Now here's the through ball. Aimed wide. He'd have done well to reach that. Kadira. Tony Cross. And a second time! A oh, great save, real class. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Great corner, and he did the rest. Well, look, it's it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Germany themselves into the lead. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Tries a through ball, Teufel, and the shot! And he's there to make a great save. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. Broken loose. like a good ball through. Can he put it away? Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Germany took a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Cuts it out. That's the whistle for half-time. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Germany are two up and everything is shaping nicely. The only criticism? It could have been three. Germany in control at half-time, 2-0. Gets things going for the second half. Red 
towards Toivonen. Mesut Ozil. Tony Kroos. Hector. Kroos. Looks to slip it through. Cut out in the nick of time. Olsen tries to get it forward quickly. Hector. Royce. Going full steam ahead down the left flank. Royce going for goal! Saved only by poor finishing. Royce certainly showed terrific balance and control to go past his markers, but not with the finish. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Defended. That had to be done. Toivonen. A real chance to break. Hillmark. Germany with this handy looking 2 0 lead. They are looking comfortable. Also, set up one goal so far. It forward. He's on the charge, but he's on his own for now. Lost. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. Oh, it's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Muller. Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. Hillmark. Sweden have it back and they can go again. In the end, they found themselves tend in, nowhere to go. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Royce out for a throw. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Royce puts it into the middle. Hillmark. Lost. Berg. And it's Toivonen. He goes long. Olsen could try cutting inside here. And he's there to cut it well, out. To be honest, I think they're all showing no substance. Where's the final product? Tried to play it through. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Best Ozil. Forward. What does he try from here? Pushes it out wide. Lovely little display of skill that is. Hillmark. Forward it goes. Hit long and direct. Going through. Tries a through. Up to meet it. Oh, should have put that away. It's a good display of fighting spirit for me. That'll be a throw. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, it's about time I think we saw some activity from the bench, but it's it's debatable as to what level of impact can be made from here. It's, it's pretty late. Not much subtlety. He's launched himself there. Now the pass. He's got away. Sweden get it back again. Royce. Royce.
beautifully done. Katira. Miss Ozil. Katira. Looking to force his way. Shoots! A wonderful effort all by himself. You can only admire his attitude with the determination he found to, to get close. Oh, he really wanted that. Yeah, and you can hear how the crowd are reacting to this too. Sweden making consecutive changes here. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. This is in a low one. And it's lost. Oh, real! He'll have a dip! He has done it! Deep, deep into injury time! Oh, high-quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. And time is up. Germany winners by the odd goal. It really could have gone either way, but a win is a win. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizable gap in the quality of both squads.